Hey everybody, this is Brian and welcome to the first Yi tutorial. Now, I have to pause and some of you are probably going, what the heck? No, this is actually not the first Yi tutorial. I did two or three of them and I wasn't happy with the quality. So I said, you know what? Forget that. And I just deleted them and we're going to redo this whole thing from scratch. Um, what we're going to be covering in this tutorial, so ser tutorial series <laughs> is, well, I don't know if I can fit it all on the screen here. Um, basically a general overview of Yi and if you've seen other Yi videos and I'm not knocking anybody but Yi is still fairly new so there really isn't a lot of material out there so you gotta do a lot of reading just to learn how to use Yi but once you get it it just you it clicks you get it it's very intuitive it's just getting to that part is a bit of a learning curve for some people so we're gonna be covering the Yi framework um, downloading installation all the way up to actually like sending emails user authentication getting real down and dirty into model view controller framework and we're gonna be covering these through a series of videos I'm gonna try and keep every video short and to the point um, if you've seen any of my other tutorials on YouTube you know that I like to focus on a single subject at a time so if you're looking for a monolithic four-hour video, this is not for you. If you're looking for just how to get stuff done, stay tuned. All right, so this is the first video. We'll be covering downloading installation and how to create your first web app. But before we really dive into that, what really is YI? Well, you can go to www.yiframework.com, and YI is an acronym that stands for Yes It Is. Is it fast, secure, professional? Yes, it is. By the way, I'm not affiliated with YI Framework. I'm just telling you what it is. Um, there's a lot of PHP frameworks out there. Um, I was actually very shocked. So why should you use Yi? Why not use Zen or one of the billion others like CodeIgnite or something that's out there? Um, you use the right tool for the job. And what I found is Yi did away with a lot of the old garbage that some of the old frameworks have. I'm not going to name names here. But you have to learn a lot of old things just to use the framework. And those things get in the way. Sometimes you just need a fresh start. And that's what, in my opinion, Yi really is. So for my projects, I really picked Yi and just moved on in life, and I couldn't be happier. So what things can you do with Yi? Well, my website, voidrealms.com, is written in Yi. It was in ASP.NET. The database crashed, blah, blah, blah. Some of you know this story. Anyways, the whole thing, poof, gone. So I rewrote the whole thing in Yi. Um, on my website, you can find the source code to this tutorial and many others. Um, for example, for these tutorials, you'll need to know how to set up a uh, Apache machine. You can find those under the LAMP tutorials. You can also find those out on my YouTube channel, like installing, configuring LAMP, et cetera, et cetera. Um, another pet project of mine, pluginbot.net. This is written in uh, Yi. And Yi is a lot more than just static web pages. You can do some really just insanely awesome things. Like for example, you know, you can select an account type and boom, pull down from a database. And you can, I mean, very quickly code this. It's just insanely intuitive once you get it. But there's that factor you had to have been there and get it. You can also, you know, put in logic, you know. And in some languages that just would take days to code. This, incredibly easy. All right, now, um, it's also themable, meaning it does, you notice how my websites kind of look the same. You've got this, you know, across the top here. Well, Yi uses themes. So it's very easy, and I'm going to give a shout out to the themefactory.net, which I'm not affiliated with. I just went out and Googled Yi themes. And you can see how people have uploaded themes, and they can look drastically different. And we're just going to go through the theme browser here just so you can get like a quick view of what some of these themes are, all from. Well, that's an ad, but from this thing, which is awesome, to, you know, just a logo at the top, to different colors, to, you know, moving things around, making it look different. I mean, there is a wealth of things you can do with Yi. That's actually probably one of my favorite themes. It looks just very professional, very well done. So you can do all that with Yi, man. It's actually, I've actually used this theme right here um, for a client one time. They loved it. But, um, it's very easy to work with themes, very intuitive. So I realize I've been telling you how great Yi is, but I haven't shown you why. So that's what we're going to start doing now. So let's go out to our web server here, and I've downloaded the Yi framework. I've got version 1.1.15 that may date this video, but um, uh, typically with frameworks, they don't just delete everything and start over every version. They build upon what's already there. So what you learn in these tutorials, you can take with you, even if you're coming to this and it's like Yi 3.0 or 4.0. The, the guts of what I'm talking about will carry over. So you're going to want to take this 
file that you've downloaded. You can download right here. And you can download either a tar GZ or a zip. If you're on Windows, do zip, obviously. The requirements are PHP 5.1 and above, and typically a LAMP stack, which is Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, will have all that baked in. The minimum requirements for this are PHP 5.1 or higher. All right, you're going to want to extract that. I extracted it and renamed the folder ye root just because I hate these long names. I just wanted to ye root. And I should caution you right here now that a security uh, awareness movement, if you will, is being taken place. Do not put the ye framework where I have put it. I've put it here simply for ease of use so I can show you what's going on. You'll notice this is ver www html. This is the root of my web server right here. When I go to my web server, 127001, which is your local loopback, you might as well just type in localhost, you'll see I have ye root. That is bad. If you extract it and you see it in the root of your web server, you will get hacked. There is no question about that. So where do you put it? Well, you put it a level above. So you actually put it in www right here. The reason for that is ye has a lot of built-in components that you can use. Um, you can actually get in and modify, you know, parts of the actual website using GUI tools. You don't want people out on the internet just being able to type that in and mess with your site. So I'm just going to warn you about that right now. So if you follow these tutorials and go, Brian, I got hacked, I'm going to say view tutorial one. All right. <laughs> so we want to make our first website. That's what we're going to wrap this tutorial up with is we want to build our own website. Okay. How? Well, we're going to use a command line tool. And I know some of you are instantly going, oh, I don't want to use a command line tool. It's very simple, and it's probably one of the only command line tools we're going to use through this whole series. It's under ye root, or whatever you name that framework, and it's called Yik. <laughs> I love these names, Yik. Anyways, I think that stands for yes, it is command line or something like that. So let's actually jump back up here. Whoa, where'd my command line go? There you are. We're going to go ver www slash html because that's where it is. Ye framework and yuck. Now, if you just hit enter, boom, you get hey, I need extra parameters. What we're looking for here is web app. We want to build a web application. So we just key all that in, type web app, and then it's going to want the path. So if you just hit enter, it's going to say usage yuck web app path. So let's actually give it a path here. And we're just going to call this test. And if you watch real closely up here while I'm keying this in, you'll actually see it create it. But when you hit enter, it's going to say yes or no. Do you want to create this? Type in yes, enter, and voila, it created our test directory. You can go ahead and just close the window and start browsing through here. This is your website in all its beauty. And if you refresh your browser, if you had it pointed there, you'll see our test folder. Click in it, ta-da, there's our first web application. Notice how it's got pretty much the same structure of what I showed you on my two websites here. It's got that toolbar at the top, it's got this going on. And you can click and see various things. And it's already got some logic built in. Like if you try to do this, it'll give you some errors and stuff. So that's what I mean. A lot of the grunt work's actually done for you. Some frameworks make that incredibly painful. Ye, it's very simple. And we're going to go over this in future tutorials. So thank you for watching tutorial one. I hope you found this educational and entertaining. Stay tuned. I want to really deep dive into Ye framework and go over it.